Caesar was set in Bethlehem, Judea. Caesar Augustus has decreed that everybody should return to the town of their birth to be counted and taxed. The overcrowded manager, overworked manager, and employees of the overcrowded Bethlehem Inn and Spa are trying to dis, are trying to cope with the rush of people. Join us as we listen to the desk clerk and manager discussing their problems. I've never seen this place so cool. I don't know how we're going to handle all these people. I know what you mean. After posting the no vacancy sign, this morning I received a request from the AAA. You know the odds on Associates Travel Club? Of course, the three king sized rooms. It seems like they have a torn group called the Magi coming to town. And all the other places were booked. I had to turn them down. We don't have those undesirable rock groups to scourge the other guests. Tell me about it. And what about the Roman soldiers with all their carousing and carrying on? I've had nothing but confused from them about our complimentary breakfast. You think goat cheese, beer, and not so bad as raising the answer to like for them. I've got a problem. The valet parking attendant just walked off the job. And we have that huge caravan of VIPs arriving in a minute, in a minute now. And all of our cameras are out in driving models. We're not trying for that. You should never hire my cousin and for that job. See if you can borrow that Ghana. What's his name? Oh, yes, brother. He works for that rich merchant who lives over the hill. He's from the southern part of the empire and does everything backwards already. Just like the southerners always do. We should be happy then if we have to check us. Great idea, boss. Oh, and don't forget to have a nice office boots before you arrive. The boss now is spreading the new on the fence all day and the old falls. Wow. We don't take Orient Express. Do we take Orient Express? I told her that we don't take Orient Express, but she insisted I talk to you. What's the problem? It's that Janice person. All she does is walk around and hearing each other complain. And she says if she doesn't get what she wants, she's going to give up her exercise program and go to competition with our spa. Well, we better go ahead this time. Mary's creating in me. She can get pretty ugly. You're telling me. She thinks she's a pretty Sheba. That's it. I had it. I'm quitting. No, what? I see that cretin in room six by prize mother lamb chops, just like you ordered. He said it back. He told the bellman this mutton wasn't smothered, it was beaten, and he could see the contusions through the wool. I don't have to take that. No, no. Remember, he is our guest. Besides, he sees your second cousin. Very well. For one more time, and I'm out of here like Moses out of Egypt. So, we need to add an expansion to the honeymoon tree about 60 feet out. I'm saying we add a pool. I've got another problem. The group from the Rotary meeting in the Nile dining room was going to transportation for a tour. I contacted Dromedary's RS, but not a single camera was available. One hunt or two. What should I do? Ha! I'm Dr. Diana, the South Judea Donkey Dealer. I can't help overhearing your conversation. I've got plenty of used transportation. And if it's not right, I'll make it right. Great, thank you. Here's my address. Hmm. 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 Thanks, Diana. Diana. Here's another one. Thanks, Diana. No problem solved. <laughs> There's a guy out back with an extremely pregnant wife and no shuckles. He's asking me for any room we have. Tell him there's no room in the end. I feel for him, but I can't squeeze another person in here. There's always been a sour and soft kind of crazy. That's awesome. Oh, I really just turned down. Also, I noticed that the hotel needs wash job. Take the chariot down to the field next to the end. There's always a group of shepherds dividing the field there, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Uh, just take it down there to them and have a detail, okay? Oh, yes. I tell that little drummer boy to stop beating that thing and look my window every night. It's driving me crazy. Right, boss. So, I noticed that the meat prices were going up. Mm-hmm. 
that a problem? I thought it was a problem. Yeah, I thought it was a problem. Maybe if I just tell me to go down to my second floor, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and check this in the engine services. I know the house is free. The guy with the public life is still here. And he's asking for anyone to have Can't we do something for him? Why don't they cry out loud? Tell him they can stay in the room behind the end tonight, but I want them gone in the morning. They're going to save their two. He's going to buy the spell and go with you also. I don't think the person who left them in the room is coming back for them. Yeah, boss. And thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe things will settle down for a while. I sure hope so. Hey, do you know what I hear? It's all that music, and maybe he might come out back. Listen, it's all for the heart. Yeah, and someone's singing. I can't make out the words, but it sounds like metal. You can see that rock we turned away earlier. There it goes, that little camera going again. And so the Lord Jesus, Savior of the Jews, Gentiles, and ultimately the world, was born in a stable in Bethlehem. We celebrate his birth at Christmas and await those who return from glory up in heaven. Have a blessed Christmas.